I'll tell you now a dreadful one of woe about a wicked crime committed not so long ago. Hey, come along, young gentlemen. Stand anywhere you like. Gaze on the picture of the shop where Henry found his bike. See Henry's father test the brakes, bend down and pinch the tire. He nods his head and says that he's prepared to be the buyer. Now Henry's face lights up with joy. The bike shall be his pride. His father stays behind to pay, but jumps on to ride. <laughs> So Henry sails along the street till he meets Jim and Bill. They ride abreast and play the fool, all heading for a spill. spin madly round and Henry's lovely bicycle is lying on the ground. But when he finds that all is well and little damage done, he shouts, come on! So swerving, laughing, turning round, their foolish tricks they start, the motors hoop, the drivers yell, he's bound to hit a cart. So day by day the bike fares worse, for Henry is unkind. He mounts the bike and rides in front. His pal sits up behind. The wheels are bent, the brakes are torn, the mudguards trail and swing. But Henry drags it round the place tied up with bits of string. And still he rides his reckless race, nor cares for man or child. Shoots past the warning yellow light in manner rude and wild. <laughs> The sign to halt, he does not read. The crossroad lies ahead, a mighty bus looms up and then... <coughs> Henry's poor bike lies dead. The passers-by all gather round with faces hard and grim. And Henry understands at last what people think of him. Now every mouth spits out his name, whispers on every breath. That is the boy, young Henry Brown, who rode his bike to death. <laughs> The judge and jury stare at him with pained and saddened eyes. But on the table, cold and still, the battered cycle lies. Oh. 
I now accuse you, Henry Brown, of doing this foul act. <clears throat> I call upon the witnesses to verify the fact. I saw him at the corner, sir. He didn't pause, nor look. It weren't the driver's fault, my lord. I'll swear that on the book. I now shall call on Driver Jones to come and testify. I tried to swerve, sir. Mm. It was too late. I had no room to get by. He passed the sign and crossed my track. I heard my brakes all squeal. The bus was heavy and I caught his bike on the back wheel. <coughs> and now, you boy, speak up and tell your part in this sad tale. I never saw the sign to halt. I just felt my brakes fail. A boy who rides a bicycle should careful be and keen see the brakes and other parts all work on his machine. If boys would ride with proper care, watch each light and sign, there'd be far fewer accidents to waste my precious time. You would be dead, young Henry Brown, but what occurs to us is how much graver it would have been had you upset the bus. Your story now is clear to me. I see where lies the blame. And when the jury does declare, I think they'll find the same. Now, foreman of the jury, speak. Your verdict I will note. The boy is guilty, please, my lad. By a majority vote. We find you guilty. And I say you shall no longer ride. For two long years you'll have to walk. Take that poor thing outside. The moral of this yarn is clear. To stress it, I should like. You have a duty to the world when you ride on your bike. 